Father, it's me, Eleanor. I know you're awake in there. I can feel it. Mother won't be able to... to toy with you like that ever again. This plasmid is for you. If I'm right, you can use it now. Please, find me. using the splicers against you. Most big daddies are like her slaves, guarding the little ones. But someone has awakened you. I know of your bond with Eleanor Delta. To save yourself, you will come for her. But Eleanor has a destiny, one you cannot share. There is no place for you in paradise. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for the role of evolution. Depression, fits of panic, sexual pathos. All responses to ancient selection pressure. The irony is that this theory is why Ryan's people invited me here. They mistake my study of natural law for the worship of competition. Remember, Eleanor, one must know the beast before it can be slain.
quickly. Head for the elevator. what the children tell me. You are a very old Big Daddy, bonded for life to a single little one. When you are apart for too long, your body begins to shut down like a coma. As long as the girl is in the rapture, you are trapped here as well. The name of your little one is Eleanor Lamb, daughter of Sophia. She is kept at Fontaine Futuristics on the other side of the city. You must go there and save her before it is too late. Chong's death was a nasty blow to the Protector program, but I'm gradually settling into his role, picking up the slack that his carelessness left behind. We are gaining steam again, but I'm not satisfied. Yes, the Big Daddy defends the girl, but he is programmed only for the fight, like a sheepdog who wanders off unless a wolf is tearing at his flock. When no aggressor is present, he regards his little sister as he might a common houseplant. We need something more, something stronger, an unbreakable physiological bond. You see? This is why I must fight Sophia Lamb. She is using the new little ones for... for something. And I have returned to rescue them. If I do not, more children will die for my sins. And the rapture nightmare will repeat forever. Now, we must talk... Citizens, citizens of rapture. rapture. This, this is Subject, is Subject Delta. Delta. Behind that mask hides an enemy of the people. Without soul or sympathy. It is a beast apart. And as family... We must tear out its jaw and drive it back into the sea. Lem will take this place apart to fight you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape.
Thank you. Now I must leave you, and I am sorry for this. But there are others I must help before the city drowns. This man Sinclair, he is an ally, and will guide you to Eleanor. Goodbye, Herr Delta. And good luck. Well, look at you. A bona fide a knight in armor, complete with iron horse. The name's Augustus Sinclair Sport, Esquire. Old Tannenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building, the very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I can do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. Sophia Lamb has taken the rapture and is responsible for stealing children from the surface. Her splicers destroyed my submersible and forced me to run. But the ticket booth here is secure, though I cannot trust it. Better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. Son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor... The sky's the limit. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. Jam Dandy. That'll get you in the park, but buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. 
It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Listen up! Choppers! Get yourself hit! No fuck-ups this time! Candy! Take aim! Fire! amusements. Please, enjoy the park. To volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan Amusement. Donnie, Donnie, get down off that exhibit, and I told you, spit off that gum, you'll choke. The kids' parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's. So I'm at my wit's end. Donnie, I told you. You did something terrible to somebody. Alone. Andrew Ryan is correct. Rapture is deliverance. 